Hello and welcome to another Matplotlib tutorial. In this video I'm going to be teaching you all how to make live updating charts and graphs within Matplotlib. Depending on what kind of work you do, having live updating charts and graphs can be pretty ideal. Um, and I know that whenever I was trying to, trying to figure out how to make this happen, it was pretty much not taught by anyone, so I had to go to the documentation to figure it out. So, um, at least for me, what I was doing was just trying to stream stock prices and then um, have it kind of change, obviously, with new prices. But then you could also, um, you can change more than just like the line, right? You can change everything in that whole figure. So I made it so like the spines and the tick labels of the graph would change dynamically based on signals sent from uh, price or sentiment on my end. Um, so the lines basically around the chart, right, would change to green if you know there was a positive signal, or change to red if there was a negative signal, and so on. So, um, so there's obviously a bunch of uses that you can do. Uh, not just have a, the line be live, but also you can change the entire chart dynamically. So pretty cool stuff. So anyway, to do this, uh, the only thing that you really need is matplotlib. I'm going to assume that most of you guys have matplotlib already, but if you don't, I will link to the uh, some Windows binaries for Python extensions, or you can go to matplotlib.org and go to their download and download whatever version you need. Um, so if you have any issues downloading or, uh, matplotlib, rather, let me know. Um, I'm just going to assume most people watching this specific video probably already have matplotlib either coming through my series coming through their own um, stuff and finding it by you know typing in how to make live python charts with matplotlib or you're coming from my charting tutorial either way you probably already have it so i'm not going to waste your time with that so uh... once you have matplotlib um, you should be all set. I do suggest that you watch the other uh, videos here with matplotlib, but you can actually start this tutorial pretty fresh, uh, even if you have not ever used matplotlib, so that'll be okay. And eventually what I'm going to do is tie this, uh, the live updating charts, to our pre-existing charting in Python tutorial series. So we'll pull live prices from Yahoo's API in the... Uh, I think they're like five minute open high low close prices every every five minutes they're updated so I'll show you guys how to do that and uh, and then obviously you could if you have your own streaming prices you can tie it into wherever uh, you have streaming prices so cool stuff ahead let's go ahead and get started um, probably the only thing I'm gonna do in this video is show you guys the documentation for what we're gonna do uh, if you come over to matplotlib uh, Matplotlib is like the, it's it's a lot bigger than I think most people <laughs> realize. At least more than I I've re realized. It's kind of like Python. You know, you think you know a lot in Python until you start learning about all the stuff you don't know in Python. <laughs> anyway, matplotlib.org/api/. And when you come here, uh, we're going to be interested in this animation function. Uh, but you can look through like all of this stuff. There's all kinds of really cool stuff in here, and then each one has a bunch of stuff. So like an animation. We've got all this, all these various things that you can do with an animation. What we're interested in is passing a function through. So if you just type in func, you can probably find it. Here we go. What we're looking at is this animation.func animation. So what this is going to let us do is pass a function through these um, this animation functionality. Uh, within matplotlib so we're going to pass through a function that each time it's going to look for new prices if it finds them it will do that also within that same function we can do all of the stuff that we were talking about before like dynamically changing colors uh, you can even have it dynamically change zoom or I mean just anything right like you can put anything you want in that function so it's really really cool um, so that's what we're going to be doing obviously in here the only thing that we're really going to need um, We'll tell it what figure, we'll tell it the function, and um, that's pretty much it. We'll also, I, we're also going to have a, uh, the, the uh, refresh time in there, um, and so on. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing in the, uh, the next video. Uh, so if that sounds interesting, stick around, and uh, we'll probably get out our first live updating chart in that next video. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you for all the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.